In 918, King Tejo Wangan established the Goryeo dynasty, turning a new chapter in history, assuring the Middle Ages and closing the book of ancient times. Goryeo was famous across the world for its publishing. Goryeo's people made the world's oldest metal-type printed book in 1377 with the Buljo Jikji Shimche Yoja 78 years earlier than Gutenberg's work. Jikji, as it's known, was inscribed on UNESCO's Memories of the World program in 2001 alongside Gutenberg's 42-line Bible. Jikji, as the world's oldest extant metal-type printed book, was designated the greatest invention of the last thousand years and stated as the first information revolution by the New York Times. The Palman Dejangyeong Buddhist scriptures, also known as Tripitaka Koreana, made by Goryeo, had some 80,000 pieces which delivered hope to Goryeo in times of national crisis. One obstacle to early printing effort was proper ventilation. Early Goryeo prototypes for wooden typesets guaranteed ventilation and prevented corrosion by using different sizes for the upper and lower winders. Secret of ventilation, the buildings housing the press lay in its floor. Floor was hardened by salt, coral and lime, absorbed moisture during the rainy season and maintained the moisture during the dry season. Word of Goryeo Dynasty spread across the world as a trade powerhouse. Brisk trade activities in the outport of Pyeongnando in Kaegyeong, its capital city, took place between merchants of Goryeo and merchants from China, Japan, Arabia, and even Persia. Goryeo exported mainly ginseng, agricultural implements, and ceramics, and imported glasses, crafted products, books, and silk. Trade with Goryeo gave Korea its name to the Western world. When Genghis Khan and his Mongol armies were conquering continents, Goryeo did not escape invasion. Goryeo held off their invaders for 40 years, handing them three defeats in battle and severely wounding their pride. But a country can only withstand so much. After 40 years of invasion and devastation, Goryeo surrendered. But not everyone raised the white flag. Sambilcho armed forces established an independent government and protested against the Mongolian government for three years. Although Sambilcho was completely destroyed in 1273 by the Goryeo Mongolian Allied forces, Sambilcho held strong the spirit of Goryeo and today remains a symbol of national spirit and patriotic pride. Goryeo ceramics rivaled its printing techniques in recognition. Goryeo blue celadons were highly appraised and sold by the upper classes of China.